In less than 48 hours, the Tecumseh Braves have had a lot to celebrate. On Friday night, the softball team took home their fourth state title, blowing out South Central 11-5. And on Saturday, the girls were welcomed home by the Linville community. Well, this group of girls says that they've been working at this for years, playing together since they were young. And the love and support from their coaches and their fans have helped them take it all the way. Having that big target on their back the whole time and withstanding all that pressure, unbelievable. I, and I tell you, very, very, very humble. Our community is the best. They are uh, they are there with us every step of the way. We have a lot of people that come out for regular season games, so it's not just the games at the end of the season. Uh, just amazing, amazing support from our community. Also celebrating at that pep, pep rally, the Tecumseh baseball team, who are still fighting for a state championship. The Braves took on Shackamack in the semi-state at Jasper on Saturday, dominating through its entirety and living for that moment when the win was solidified. I saw the ball rolling through the infield, and it was like in slow motion. I was just waiting for the first baseman to grab it. As soon as he did, oh my gosh, it's unreal what just what I'm going through right now. This is crazy. It really is a great uh, feeling. I just thought our boys really played really well, and uh, they just really did a great job of execution, made some great plays, and uh, it just was really a great a great time all week long as we prepared for them, and I thought we did a good job of preparing. I thought they were focused, and I just really thought that you saw that today. The Braves are back in action on Sunday. Let's take a look at that matchup. The state championship game will be held at Victory Field in Indianapolis on Sunday. To come, she'll be taking on Lafayette Central Catholic in the Class 1A final.